If you're like me, you have three ways of writing regular expressions. Copilot, Google, and spending a ton of time on a tool like Regexer to try to get something that works. And even after I'm done, it's still not that readable, and if I come back to this in a week, I'm going to have no clue what it's saying. And that's why I love the Magic Regex tool from Daniel Rowe, where we can create regular expressions with a more natural language syntax where we create inputs and then chain them together. So let's install it and start playing around with it. So let's say we have this list of strings and we wanna get the ID colon ID out of each one of them. And let's say for now, we just wanna make sure that each one has ID colon space. We can say exactly, pass that string in. And now if we hover over our ID regex, we can actually see the regular expression being generated in our generic type here. And for non-dynamic regular expressions like this, magic regex will actually compile away with a build time transform. So now let's loop over these strings, perform some matching, and then print out the results. So you can see that in all the relevant strings, we're getting the ID colon space, but then how do we create a regular expression that can go beyond literal string matching? And this is where this library really shines. Let's say we want our ID to contain both letters and numbers and be somewhere between two and six characters. After R exactly, we can say dot end, letter, dot, or digit, which are two of the many helpers from Magic Regex. And then to make sure we get between two and six characters, we can use dot times dot between to limit this. And if we run our file, it's working great. So kind of just as a recap of how this is being created, our letter input and digit input come together to create this bigger input, which is chained to R exactly. Another thing we can do is use the dot at dot line start or dot at dot line end to say that we want this input to be at the beginning or the very end of a string. And probably the coolest thing is we can create capture groups with dot grouped and even name them with dot grouped as. So then after we match, we can say dot groups dot and we even get typed autocomplete for the groups that we defined. I know I went really fast, but if you want to see all the features of Magic Regex, I really hope you check out the docs link down below and start making regular expressions easier to work with. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.